Greetings! In the following tutorial, you will learn how to make your very own exciting and compelling Paul is Dead video. The very first thing that you will need is a primary Beatles related video clip. This will be the meat of the video. Its relevance to PID isn't important, but it is preferable for the clip to have taken place after the events of September or November of 1966. In this tutorial we will be using the video of the song Get Back, taken from the Beatles' legendary rooftop performance. This clip is ideal, because of its showing a rather happy looking Paul, and a more or less disgruntled looking John, George and Ringo. This insinuates that there was tension within the band at the time, which of course could only mean that Paul is dead. Also, the title of the song suggests the return of any number of major figures ranging from Alice to Crowley, John Lennon, to the Antichrist Paul McCartney himself. Next we'll work on our flash cards. Throughout the main part of the video we will use what is sometimes referred in the Paul is Dead movie director circles as flash cards. Flash cards are short messages, or in some cases, images, that flash on the screen sporadically throughout the video. They are called flash cards because, like real flash cards, they are shown to the individual rather quickly, and the primary goal is that, through repetitious viewing of said cards the individual feels as though he has learned something of importance. Your flash cards can consist of anything, really but it's best to work with themes of a religious or ambiguously esoteric nature. For this tutorial we will be using the scripture John 19, verses 6 and 7. Not only for the numerical relevance, but because the scripture itself makes reference to Christ, of whom Paul is symbolic of in P.I. Dear Law, Jews, and remember that there were many important Jews in the Beatles in a circle, and the law, which of course relates to the Book of the Law. By simply working a trend in one can find treasure troves of YouTube material. Next in importance to flashcards is the wild card. The wild card is a video or audio clip that at first, the viewer does not recognize as being Paul is dead related. It is your job to convince them that it is, in some manner of varying ambiguity, related to the main conspiracy. This does wonders for your public images they quickly become convinced that you are an insider and must know all sorts of things that they don't know. In this tutorial our wildcard will be a clip of the seminal 1966 daytime gothic soap opera, Dark Shadows. See if you can guess at the Paul is Dead connection in this following clip. No Pop, I haven't seen him. Well, why don't you try the cannery? I mean, at this time of the day, he's been at work for hours. Well, sure, if I hear from him or he comes in, I'll call you. <laughs> I said I would. Why the sudden interest in Bill Malloy? Okay, Pop, okay, I was just asking. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. You didn't have to see Bill around here today, did you? Hey, what is it with Mr. Malloy? You know, you're the third person that's asked me about him today. That's all? Who else was interested? Well, Carolyn Stoddard came in this morning. She asked me. My dad asked me, and now you. <laughs> what is it? Did he quit his job and go off to Tahiti? I doubt that. Well, let's face it. People like Bill don't get lost. All I know is I'm as troubled about his disappearance as you are. Troubled or relieved? That's right. Not only is there a missing man named William in this clip, but this episode also originally aired in, you guessed it, September of 1966. Follow this up with shaky con clips of the modern day Colin Wood estate and, presto. You already have foreign goers talking about Paul's body being buried underneath the wall in the middle of some yard there. At this point you may want to take a small break. It is advisable that you would step away from the computer at this moment lest you start believing in your own bullshit.
picking up where we left off. Another effective wild card that you can use is footage of creepy old Italian men. Come and see what you say. The next thing that you will want to do is pick the music that will be used in your video. It's recommended that you choose two different types of music to use in your video for two very different purposes. The first will be your creepy music. Creepy music can be used to help convince the viewer that there is something genuinely sinister afoot in the world of lovable mock tops. For this tutorial we will use a Joe Satriani song that has been reversed, slowed 150%, pitch raised 150%, then sped up 150%, with plenty of echo added in between. Next is our insider music. To convince the average viewer that you are someone who knows something, it helps to keep bootleg Beatles material around. Any alternate take of a popular Beatles song will do, and it helps if you sync it up with rarely seen footage of one of the Beatles. Next you will need your ending teaser. The ending teaser is of course, the final frame of any good Paul is dead video, that leaves the viewer either baffled, frustrated, or in the best case scenario, eager to learn more. Whatever you choose, make sure it is a good conversation starter. Here we will use the phrase the postman always rings twice along with the frame of the 1981 movie remake of the same name. And there you have it. These are the primary elements of the average Paul is Dead video. It is up to you to gather the various clips of your choice, and combine them in the software-based video editor of your choice. Thank you very much for your time, but before we go, ladies and gentlemen, let us take a look at the film that we have just now made. <laughs>